welcome again to the new tutorial for the tecla structural designer in this tutorial we are going to see how we can model a simple shear wall in tecla structural designer shear wall can be used very easily in tecla structural designer by using an option that is matched wall under concrete sections you can model any kind of wall here and you can also uh, draw the openings also after that so initially for the demonstration i have made a grid here this uh, grid is almost around 1.5 meter long and 1.5 meter wide so this wall is going to be 1.5 by 1.5 i'm going to create this wall on the three sides and then we are going to put a slab on the top of it and then we are going to provide a load on it you can see onto the level side i have created these three levels if I right click and go to construction levels, I have created the levels at every three meter of distance. That is three, six and nine. Okay. Now, right now the base has been uh, created here. If I go to levels, right click construction, I can make the base or you can say the level one, a unique one, or I can make the other going to depend on all of this. So I'm going to make base the unique and uh, or you can say the one I am going to make the uh, dependable on the base. The second floor is going to be dependent on the base again and the third one is going to be dependent on the base again. That is that means if anything is going to be done at the base, it is going to get replicated onto the one, two and three story. So these one, two, three story are going to be based on what that is base. I'm going to press OK. So right now the base has been open by default. If it is not open in your case, you can just double click on your standard base and it is going to show up. Now let's go on to the model section and in the concrete, we have the matched wall. If I click on the matched wall, there is going to be property here. The first is where from where it is going to start. This wall uh, base level is going to be the base and it is going up to the stand that is your story three. Then onto the bottom, you can change the settings like it's going to be a concrete cast in place. Onto the reinforcement, you can choose what is, what is going to be the form. That is, it is going to be a mesh or it is going to be just simply loose bars. You can uh, select either of it. Uh, if I select mesh, then I have to select that is rib type horizontal. The bars are going to be plain or type 2 carbon steel. It is going to be to type 2. Then the grade, we can select the grade as let's say FE500. It is according to the Indian standards. Then the rib type mesh you can select that is the type 2 mesh type it is having a b c tecla structural designer uses three type of meshes that is quad quad dominant and the rectangular one i'm going to with the default that is mesh a rib type confinement you can choose that is uh, type 2 carbon steel and the grade it is going to be 550 then the overall grade of the concrete it is going to be let's suppose m30 and the thickness suppose it is going to be 250 mm okay uh, this is the alignment that is what kind of alignment you want right now at the time of drawing uh, you can choose the middle one so that it is going to be drawing into the middle one uh, th there are other properties also you can check it out that is according to the seismic you are going to do what and uh, you can provide any releases if there are any okay you can see the uh, supports also that is the wall supports uh, in which cases it is going to be free or fixed i am choosing all fix okay now let's start clicking if i click here and then click here one wall is going to be made there then if i click here here the wall is going to be made click here and here the wallet is going to be press escape to come out of the command go to structure 3d to see your wall this is the wall okay now suppose i want to put a slab onto the top of it just to uh, demonstrate that how the loading is going to get transferred so we can click on the standard three here and the plan of your story three is going to be open up Let's go to the again model tab and onto the slab that is going to be slab on beams. Right now we don't have a beam. So we are going to create a flat slab. Click on flat slab and just click on this bay. So it is going to create a slab there. Uh, of course, you can change the properties here and all that. I'm going to keep it default for right now. Go to structure 3D. This wall is going to be like that. Now for every uh, level, the wall has been constructed. Why it was? Because we have made them unique. So that uh, wall, when we created wall onto the third floor, every floor automatically gets a wall we are going to delete them and then again we are going to be the construction level and we are going to change the unique thing okay we are going to make everything unique and press okay 
now again i am going to uh, go on to the story 3 i am going to repeat the step that is flat slab click on b escape structure 3d now only the slab has been constructed at the top now we can go into the lord uh, we can go into the load cases you can see here what kind of load cases you want right now i don't want impose just to make the process a simpler i just want the self weight the slab self weight and the dead load okay i'll press okay here now uh, from the bottom load toolbar select dead load go to the level or you can say the slab load i'll go to the level load and i'm going to create a you can say 10 kilonewton of slab load i'll click here and i'll press escape now you can see our slab shear wall has been created i'm going to save this one save i'm going to replace the file so the wall has been created with a slab under the top and with a dead load of you can say 10 kN per meter square now we are ready to analyze it we'll go to analyze and here we have analyze all static we are going to cl uh, click on it it is going to analyze from the uh, uh, load toolbar you can select the specific you can say the uh, load case and you can see the result as per the selected load case if i'm going to select the self weight excluding slabs and then we can see the results here we can see the stresses we can see the in plan stresses what are they going to be the stresses in the shear wall and we can see the uh in plane shear forces okay you can see the values from here also that is a force reflection and reactions we can check it out other things you can also check if you have the beam and column in your drawing you can also see the results for that thing for the slabs also you can do the same thing that is self uh, for the slab self fit you can see the stresses and all and uh, now let's move on to the designing portion let's go to the design here and there is an option that is analysis and design design concrete but for that we need to first generate load cases so go into the load section go into the combination sorry we have to generate the combination so we can go into generate and we are going to uh, generate the load cases this is the only one load case is going to be there because we are only applying the dead load so i'm going to get a limit state uh, combinations of 1.5 multiplied by dead load next next and i'm going to finish it i'm going to press ok now let's go into the design tab and enter the analysis and design concrete select design concrete static it is going to design it and the uh, thing is going like that it is giving a warning here there's to check the warning you can just right click on to the member wait for a second and then go into the check wall and check static okay here onto the panel you can click and you can go into the this exclamatory mark which is giving us the warning if you are going to click on it it is saying no seismic combination found so no worry we didn't apply the seismic load at this particular time so they are saying that no seismic combination has been found this is the only warning the other things has been done you can see the limiting slenderness ratio check has been completed it has been passed design moments has been passed okay the mid fifth rules has been passed the bottom reinforcement has been passed so everything has been passed but there is no seismic combination right now here so that's why the tecla structural designer is saying so it is kind of a warning generally the shear wall you say generally we use shear wall to resist the lateral stresses or you can say the lateral forces which are primarily generated due to the wind load and the you can say the seismic forces so but right now we are doing a simple demonstration so that's why the seismic loading is not there but when you're going to go apply a seismic loading you are going to do that now suppose the structures has been passed and there is a this is the only warning that is there so if it has been passed and designed then how to see the reinforcement just right click onto the member and you can go here and there is an option that is generate drawing you can click on generate drawing and these are the details that you can add it that is scale and all this thing I'm going to press OK. I'm going to keep them default. And then your by default, whatever uh, CAD software you are going to you are using, it is going to get opened up. OK, so right now I'm using the AutoCAD 2019. So it is going to be opened up. OK, and we are going to see the structural detailing of the bar. OK, so you can see here, this is the uh, uh, right now the uh, sketch of our wall. OK, let's uh, zoom it, uh, zoom it in zoom in okay i'm going to zoom in a little bit you can see here this is the uh reinforcement detailing that is this c and b are what the c and b are is a 12 mm dia bars this b is also 12 mm dia bars 
this uh, uh, shear wall is 1.5 meter long as we did and it is 250 mm wide okay you can also reduce the size and check if the member is going to get passed okay this is totally depends on you and that's where the software uh, helps us okay now you can see onto the right hand side that is these are the uh, bars which are going to run straight from top to the bottom which is going to be 12 mm dia bars these are going to be at you can say with the 400 mm center to center of uh, size uh, you can say the distance this is the quantity okay the quantity which is going to be used in this particular uh, reinforcement or you can say the mesh type the uh, in kilogram and in all these things okay so this is how you can simply design or you can say a model a shear wall in the tecla structural designer and you can get the drawings also i hope uh, this video really helps you if you have any comment if you have any question if you have, if you have any suggestion regarding this particular tutorial please let me know into the comments till then bye bye thank you mm -hmm.